okay so you can see that this is the fuse that's blown so that's probably the the fan um one. all right so now hey welcome back to another episode of we we bills today we're still working on the 2021 ford escape so last video you saw that we try to turn everything on have it running for a while we didn't really drive it down the street because we didn't know what was wrong so uh because the fan still wasn't coming on but the temperature wasn't going up or anything until like later on in the night when i basically left the car right here and it went for a walk and by the time i come back i realized that the temp almost it went it was going up, um too hot but anyways like share subscribe drop your comments and thoughts down below turn your post notifications on don't forget to check us out on WeRebuilds.com, our social media link. Just make sure you follow us on every single platform. But anyways, uh, let's hop straight into this video. Yes, so the issue that we having is the fan still doesn't want to turn on while and, and it's really hot. So even though the fan don't want to turn on, you see we still have um, a good amount of cooling in there. I did change the oil because as you can see all the oil is over here and it, I was just thinking like it wouldn't really make any sense to show y'all how to change the oil on this because I think it's pretty simple but if y'all really need to know just to change the oil you got so under here you still see, see I have the still the shield right here but so this bolt right here uh, that's a 16 millimeter bolt you pull that and all the oil will drain out and then you have the filter just right there so but we made sure to check everything else on there every everything else, as you can see it it's still looking brand new nothing is messed up down here so we should be good with most of this stuff down here just putting this back on right there yeah so it's looking good so far uh so and then just to let the oil run out faster i end up pulling this to let the oil run out faster but um enough of that i did take the hood off and the hinges as well because the hinges um well one of them kind of look bent so i did pull both of them off the car so what we're gonna do now is to check all the fuses and see if uh that's the issue if because I did let it sit for a while I turned the AC on even though there's no Freon in it and I didn't let it run too long because I didn't want to burn up the compressor and still nothing so the other only other thing is to do is to check the fuse but uh I was watching all the YouTube channel so this is one fuse right here which and I already saw that but there's also one under the dash on the passenger side I could show you that real quick so it's down here this is the fuse box right here so all we're gonna do right now is to test it and see if it works and then we're gonna go from there so let's go I'm gonna remove the fuse box and then and then we do what we need to do okay so you can see that this is the fuse that's blown so that's probably the the fan um, one so we're going to take this 60 amp fuse from the parts car and then see if that help that makes it work let's go so to remove the fuse box all you got to do is lift that clip pull these two down And boom we have about all the fuses that we need all right so now you can see I just um, put that fuse in for the fan hopefully I think that's the one but that's the only blown fuse I've seen so far um, I still might look around some more because I want to make sure that because I still have a bright um, light too for the electrical brake so and I don't even know which way the counts go on this so I'm gonna check on that see if I could find it real quick make sure um, see which fuse is for the brake and then 
we'll come back to to this and and the fan but i know this is the only fuse that i've seen that's blown so far so let me check the rest real quick all right so i checked everything <clears throat> i just typed in uh all the 2021 ford escape fuse diagram so this is 50 that was for the fan um 49 48 was this says for the for the braking system but these are not blown so i mean looks like that's the only thing we just got to figure out why we have these lights and every scanner that i have to try to scan the car it, it it's saying i need an updated one so anyway we're gonna keep going In. All right, so that's it. Now we're going to start it, see what happens. So now we're going to start it. can see I still got these lights over here and these lights over here but let's go look at the fan see that fan spinning all right so now that's done uh, I'll probably pull it out see if we could take it on the first test drive or just put the hood on I don't know but to, to remove to get the hood off, hood off you're probably gonna have to remove the fenders so we're gonna do that with that one over there see if we could remove those fenders and then call it a day so let's go So that's gonna be a wrap for today's episode on We Rebuilds. As you can see, we end up getting the fan to start working. Uh, we put this hood on, maybe in the next episode. Uh, probably just try to retrofit some stuff because I know I still have the thing right here. So I'm gonna take it to a paint shop and see what they say. For now, I'll just probably just put on the bumper and stuff for the next episode so we can make sure, hey, everything works good. Uh, the fender right here has a few little dense spots, one right here, and there's a tear right here. So, I mean, I'm thinking about us getting a new fender all in all, but I'll stop at the paint shop and see what they say and how much they're gonna charge. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, and grab, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Hey, don't forget to check us out on all social media links. Go well, get yourself some merch from WeWeBuilds.com. But anyways, stay positive, stay motivated, and guess what? I'll see you in the next one.